Okay, okay what's your question? Go back to Exodus. Hey, I think you say something like this. He played football, right? At the, at the age that he is, right now, if he continues to take hits like a grown man, by the time the age he does get to 17 or 18, he will be almost slow, really. You see what I'm saying? Because his brain, his mind will be that messed up from taking that many hits. Now, don't you know football is a contact sport, so they go helmet to helmet every play. Every play, he going helmet to helmet. Guess what? They ain't gonna care about your 13 year old little boy once he get that concussion. Only thing they care about is if he getting sacks, if he getting touchdowns. They ain't gonna care about it once he get that concussion. Once he get that concussion, ah, oh, we can put him to the side. Next, next, next. That's how they gonna do it. Next. You see what I'm saying? F football is a very dangerous sport. V very dangerous. V basically, we try, no, we try not to, we try not to do sports. Basically, because for the simple fact, it's of the enemy. And most nine times out of ten, the enemy got you playing games on the weekend. Yeah. Now, you know what you can do? You start bringing him to the school and showing him his true nationality. That's not the only thing he can do to keep him out of trouble. You showing him who he is gonna keep him out of trouble. Right. Let him know that he's not an African American. You not a black is the color in a crayon box. You wanna keep your kid out of jail. You wanna keep him out of. We didn't know that. I've been in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out of jail all my life, selling drugs, doing everything under the sun. But when I found out who I was in this Bible, because I actually read the Bible while I was in jail, I got out. Guess what? I ain't getting. I ain't went back no more. It ain't going back, cause I learned who I was. It wasn't foot. I played football, I played basketball, I played everything. I rap, song, make uh, make beats. I done everything. I went every, I went everybody way but God's way. When I when I found out who I was and I came back to God's way, hey, it changed my life. So you can start with him early. I'm gonna show you something. Read Exodus chapter 20 and verse 10. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the seventh day, today is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Read. In it thou shalt not do any work. You're not supposed to do any work. Him playing football, that's doing work. Guess who was doing work for? The white man. Who taught us how to play football? Huh? All right, go. Yeah, give me 2 Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 12. Bring it out. Huh? Let me show you something. This ain't the first time. Now, hold your finger right there. Go back to Psalm chapter 137. Let me show you something. That's him. Yeah. Uh, he opened the door. All right. Playing football is a, is a distraction. Sports is a distraction for the black man. You work, you, you start playing high school football, uh, junior high football. You start, they start you in, in, in middle school, the junior high. It's a distraction to keep the black man lost and the white man paid. Because if you're a good football player and, and, and you packing the stadium out, guess what? That, that money ain't going in, in back into your community. That money is going into the white man's pocket and he doing what he want to do with that money. Yeah. When you pack out the gym because you know how to dunk a basketball backwards, guess what? That money is not going back into the community where it needs to go. Is going right back into that school system that's teaching you lies. Then you mess around and get hurt. We, you don't want him to have all this hope and thinking he's playing in football. Because guess what? If you put him on pads, guess what he want to be when he grow up? Guess what? Ask him. When he in the car. He going to say a football player. We got enough football players. Put them on a thes uh what's they call a thescoscope. A thescoscope. Yeah, put them on that. Put a book in his hand and say be a lawyer. But now we put our kids on football pads, put a basketball in the, in the hand, and they go from middle school to kinder, um, from middle school to the 12th grade saying I want to be a basketball player. All right? They do one year in college, blow their ankle out. Now their dreams got flushed down the toilet. They on the corner. 
with a flag hanging out the back of their pocket with dime bags. You see what I'm saying? Read this. Give me some. Chapter 137. All right? Bring it out, all right? Watch this. Psalms chapter 137 and verse 3. For there they that carried us away captive. It said, for there they that carried us away captive. Who carried us away captive? The other nations. The other nations. Who carried us away in this captivity is the so-called white man. He said, there that they that carried us away captive. Read. Required of us a song. They required of us a song. They say, sing, sing for us. That's why when the game come on, what's the first thing that we got to stand up and do? Sing what? The national anthem. Who they want to sing that national anthem? The black folks. They want uh, Marvin Gaye to sing it. They want Whitney Houston to sing it. They want us to sing their national anthem. He said, they that carried us away captive, read. Required of us a song. They want us to entertain them with singing, read. And they that wasted us, they that wasted us, the same people that destroyed us, wasted is another word for destroy. They destroy us, all right, by teaching us lies. He said, they that destroy us, read. Required of us mirth. They want us to make them laugh. So when your son got the football in his hand and he running and can't nobody stop him, they woo! Yeah, they laughing. They happy. Because they that carried our way captive, they require of us to entertain them. So, all right, now go to uh, go to Maccabees, where I had you going. Read, I'm going to show you this was in the Bible, right? Watch this. Sorry, 15, uh, 12, we'll start 12. 2 Maccabees chapter 4, verse 12. For he built gladly a place of exercise. So, what's a place of exercise? Where we go? To the gym. So, we was in captivity with the Greeks. The white man had us in captivity, and we built gladly for them a place of exercise. Read. Talking about the gym. Read. Under the tower itself and brought the chief young man under his subjection. Yeah, see, that's what your coach do. They bring the chief young man, the big, they got the biggest black uh, men out there, and they bring them where? Under his subjection. Under, look, under his subjection. They, be, they big men, but when the coach sit down and talk to them, turn them into a little bit of Man, muster seeds. They become so little and the coach can tell them, go out there and give your best. And you you try to knock his block off, you understand me? He bring them under his subjection, read. And made them wear a hat. And made them wear a hat. Let's just say a helmet. <laughs> read. Yeah. Now such was the height of Greek fashion. And what's the such was the height of what? Greek fashion. The such of Greek fashions. Alright, so football is a Greek fashion. Give me a profane, no profane person is uh, Esau. Hebrews, watch this. Esau is the so-called white man. He's the Greek, all right? So they taught us Greek fashion. Let me show you something about football. Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. It said what? Read that one more time. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Esau. So this man is profane and he's a fornicator. Let's take the word profane. He profane as hell. Why do I say that? He do profane things. He tell you to put on some tight ass pants, put some pants in it, and let somebody stick their hand under your butt and say hike. Run around trying to knock each other down. You know they, they did that. They was naked at first. Before they put on pads, they was naked. That's what gymnasium mean. It comes from a, a, a place of naked exercise. Look it up. Google it. The word gymnasium means a place of naked exercise. That's why when our people play sports, they got on what? Biker shorts. They got on tights. When you do a good job, where the coach hit them at? On the ass. Good job, boy. Bam. Slap you on the ass. Yeah, in baseball, they just came out when they won the World Series. They bumping each other private part. They going around, ugh, ugh. Look it up. They bumping each other private parts now. It's getting profane, profane, profane. It's a distraction to keep you lost. Our people not worried about if Mike, when Mike Brown got shot down. They not worried about if Trayvon Martin uh, got shot down. They'll march for a couple seconds. I did say seconds. They'll march for a couple seconds. Yes. Then let the NBA playoffs come on. 
They ain't studying nothing about Freddie Gray no more. Yeah. Nothing about Roy Glenn Jr. no more. Nothing about Tamir Rice no more. They don't care. Let the Super Bowl. All, the, all they got to do, the white people can shoot. They can have a massacre right now and shoot up another, uh, shoot up another church. Kill hundreds of black people. All the super, all they got to do is make the Super Bowl come on, and black people forget about everything went on, and they gonna go buy all the beer, all the outfits, all the hot wings, all the pork chop. It's a distraction to keep you lost. So you got to teach your child more. It's more to life than sports. All right, it's more to life. My son wanted to play. He he used to play. He played the uh play the mess out of basketball. But when I came to the truth, I took him out of it. I took him out. You can't, you know, dribble this Bible. That's right. That's what you can do. Dribble this Bible. Cross over some precepts. That's right. Then if you want to do something, cross, cross over precepts. Bring it out, huh? For real, though. We got to teach our kids it's more to life than playing sports. All right? That's part of your repentance, sister. So you got to do what? Learn how to dress modest. Okay? Take your kid out of sports, even though he's going to cry. Mama, I want to play football. I want to play football. Okay? Give me Proverbs 3 and 31. What you got? Yeah. Go to the next. Go to the Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. Who oppressing us? Bring it out. Who got their foot on our neck? The white man. The Bible says do what? Envy thou not the oppressor. Don't be jealous of him. Uh, read and choose none of his way. Don't choose no some of his way. None of his way. No, play basketball because they doing it. None of his ways. Play football because my son might go to the NFL one day. And choose none of his way. The Bible say don't choose none of his ways. All right. This is what you got to teach your kids. Give me Deuteronomy six and seven. Read. read up. Deuteronomy chapter six and verse seven. And thou shalt teach them diligently. It said, thou shalt teach them diligently. You got to teach what? What you got to teach your son? The Bible, the laws of God. Read. Unto thy children, and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house. You got to talk to them. You got to take them home and say, son, look, Jesus ain't white. I don't care what they tell you at school. Don't you celebrate uh, Christmas. All right? Read. And shall talk of them when thy sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. You got to talk to your kids about what we're teaching you. You got to learn it so you can talk to them about it every day, all day, every day, all day. If not, the school system going to get them, all right? Because they spend more time in school than they do with you. The school system going to get them and teach them that uh, all lies, all right? Give me uh, Sirach chapter seven, uh, 7 and 23. Bring it out, huh? Sirach chapter 7 and verse 23. Read. Sirach chapter 7 and verse 23. Hast thou children? So the Bible says, hast thou children? You got children. You got sons. You say you got some more kids, right? Read. Instruct them. You got to do what? Instruct them. You got to instruct them through this Bible. You understand? You got little girls? I got a daughter. She's nine and then I got a younger son. Okay. Check this out. You say you got to instruct them. Read. And bow down their neck from their youth. You gotta do it while they, while they're young. Cause when they get older and they see uh, Nicki Minaj and she see Beyonce, she gonna think that's the way she wanna be. All right. If he, when they get old, they see Yo Gotti. Y'all stay here in Memphis. All Yo Gotti gotta do is come down the street one day, and that's who they gonna wanna be like. All right. Young Dolph, all them, them wicked niggas. You wanna teach them the laws of God, okay? Not the wickedness of 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 them people. All right. I don't want to You know how you don't say the wrong thing? You keep uh, using God's. Yeah. You got to teach them God's law, statutes, and his commandments, sister. Check this out. What? All right. We got a school right around the street. All right. 1661 Lamar. We meet there every day. It's on. We got a her. It's on this card if it ain't on the Lamar paper. Lamar Rozier, Lamar Rozier, right around the right around the street. It's on that. It's on that card. All right. You should come around there today, sister. Give me uh, Psalms one nineteen to sixty, right quick. Yeah. Let me show you some. 
You can't, you can't, you can't put this off from day to day. The Most High God order your footsteps to hear this word today. Yes, Read Psalms chapter one nineteen and verse sixty. I made haste. David said he made haste. You know what it means to make haste? That means he hurried up. He didn't, he didn't, hey, he didn't beat around the bush. He done it speedily. He, he said, I made haste. What? And delayed not. He said he didn't delay. He didn't delay. You know what it means to delay on it? Like, I'll do this later on here. I just, I'll holler at them some other time. Read. To keep thy commandment. He didn't, he didn't, he made haste. He didn't delay to keep God's commandments. All right. So that's how, that's the mindset you got to get. Like, I heard this word. I got to do this today. I can't put this off to next week because what? You might not live to see next week. All right? The Bible said the wages of sin is what? It's death. So if you don't keep God's commandments, you could die between next, between now and next week. Amen. So you got to delay. I mean, you, you got to make haste and delay not to keep God's commandments. So we got a school at 1661 Lamar. We meet there at 130 every day. We got our families there. We got our wives there. We just come out on the street and teach. But you go around there, you're going to see your family structure. You're going to see order. You're going to see discipline. Something that you don't see in black people. You ain't going to worry about nobody fighting, nobody talking about you or nothing. You see what I'm saying? You, you, you're going gonna to meet righteous sisters. They're going to tell you how to where you can get your head uh, wrappings from, how to put them on. You see what I'm saying? You can meet, uh, your son can meet little boys his age. You see what I'm saying? Then he ain't got to worry about playing football because they ain't playing football neither. You see what I'm saying? All right. Give me Matthew 26 and 6. Yeah. You celebrate Christmas? Nope. No, it's the Sabbath day. We don't accept no money, bro. We appreciate it. How less the mile? We at 1661 Lamar or come to us when the sun go down, we accept all donations. Yeah, that's right. We got a money job to school. That's right. <laughs> How less the mile? 1661. Lamar, we take all donations. The money job. <laughs> Read. You, you celebrate Christmas? One more thing. I also want me to bring out. You celebrate any holiday? I mean, Just be honest. I, I, Just see. We all did one day. It don't be feeling right. It don't be feeling right. Give me Colossians uh, 3, 3 uh, and 8 right quick. Let me show you something. I'm going to bring this out. We finna go, y'all. He said, man, spirit on to bring this out. All holidays are of the white man, of the devil. He have deceived you into what? Believing that Jesus' birthday is December 25th. That Easter is his resurrection day. He have deceived you into believing that Thanksgiving is a time that you sit around the table and have family time. He have deceived you. But you got to ask yourself, what's the truth behind all that? That's right. The truth behind it is he wants your money. That's right. He wants your money. It's all about money to him, but it's nowhere in the Bible. Read what you got. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So the Bible said beware lest any man spoil you. The word beware means what? To be on the lookout. Like somebody said beware a dog. You're going to be looking for a dog, okay? So it said, beware lest any man. So you need to be looking for a man that was what? Going to deceive you. Deceive mean what? Lie. Read. After the tradition of man. So this is after the traditions of a man made up Thanksgiving. It's not in the Bible. Man made up Christmas. That's not in the Bible. Man made up New Year's. It's not nowhere in the Bible. Martin Luther King Day is nowhere in the Bible. Read. Right, after the rudiments of the world, said, that's after the rudiments of the world, read, and not after Christ. Jesus Christ didn't celebrate his own birthday. He didn't throw no party. He didn't go buy himself no gifts or buy his, uh, his family gifts. All right? Go to Jeremiah chapter 1 and, uh, right quick, 10 and 1. They say around, the, it don't say exactly what day, but it tells us around the time he was born, okay? I ain't got time to go through it today, but... He was born around the time of springtime in the month of Abib. Abib means ear of corn, okay? So that was during the, uh, the springtime. It wasn't during the, the dead middle of winter. Jesus Christ represents life. When everything, the earth refreshes itself and it comes back to life, that's when he was born, during the time of Passover, all right? The white man lied to you. Let me show you in the Bible that you're not supposed to put. You ever put up a Christmas tree in your house? Watch this right here. 
Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speak unto you, O house of Israel. Who is the house of Israel? This is the people on that sign over there. That's the house of Israel. Okay, the 12 tribes of Israel. You got Judah, Benjamin, Levi. All those people are on earth today. So God told us to tell you to hear these words. Read. O house of Israel, thus said the Lord. Learn not the way of the heathen. They said don't learn the ways of the heathens. The so-called white man. The so-called Arab. The so-called Chinese. Don't learn their ways. Why? Because they're teaching you lies. Read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. It says for the customs of the white man or the other people, they are vain. I mean, they lies. Read. For one cut a tree out of the forest. It said he'll go get a tree and he'll cut it out of the forest. Read. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. He'll cut it out down with an axe. Read. They deck it with silver and with gold. They do what? They deck it with silver and with gold. What that sound like to you? Bring it up. That's the ornaments on the Christmas tree. He said they deck it with silver and with gold. They even got a song. Silver bells, silver and gold. Bring it up. They got a song about it. They know. And do what? Read. They fasten it with nails. They, they put it in the ground with nails. Read. And with hammers uh -huh. that it move not. Uh -huh. Read. They are upright as the palm tree. Yeah, they used to use the palm tree, but now they use the evergreen tree. Read. Yeah. But speak not. It, it don't, they don't speak not. That tree can't say nothing. Read. They must needs be born because they can cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. So the Bible is telling you not to celebrate Christmas. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.